I'm gonna show you how to easily add text to your videos in Premiere Pro 2023, just like this. Here inside Premiere Pro, I already have some footage down here on the timeline. So in order to create some text, I'm just gonna go over here to the type tool or press T on the keyboard. Then I'm gonna click anywhere within the frame and I'm gonna type out what I want my text to say. Now that was pretty easy, but we're definitely gonna wanna make this text look better. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna go over here to the workspaces button and then go down to captions and graphics. Now if this tab here didn't open up for you, just go over here to window and then go down and select essential graphics and that should pop up there. Then just make sure that you click on your text down here on the timeline and that should open up this edit area here. Next, I'm just going to double click on my text so it highlights in red and that's gonna allow me to make changes to the text. The first thing I like to do is go ahead and center things up horizontally and vertically and we can automatically do that in Premiere by clicking on this button here to align it horizontally and then you can click on this button here to align it vertically. One thing you can also do is go ahead and center align the text and then you just have to snap it back into place. That way all the changes are made from the center of the text. Then you can go ahead and pick out a font that you wanna use. And once I pick out a font, I'll then go ahead and increase the size of the text and then go ahead and center this back up. Now you can also adjust the position and rotation over here in the essential graphics tab. But what I like to do is go over here to affect controls and you can drop down this tab here. If I wanna make changes to the position, I can do it over here and I can also animate it by using keyframes. You can also change the fill color of your text by going down here to appearance and just make sure that you have this box checked because if it's not, it'll disable that effect. And then click on this rectangle here or use the eyedropper here to select a specific color. If you wanna use a solid color, you can, or you can actually select a linear or radial gradient. And this is a fairly new feature where you can actually add a gradient to the text. But I'm gonna go ahead and just pick a solid color for now and then press okay. And if you wanna add a stroke, you can do that. You can just check the box and then change it to whatever color you want it to be. Or you can change that to a gradient as well and then press okay. And you can also increase the size of the stroke if you want. And then you can select whether you want it to be an outer, inner, or center stroke. If you want to add a background to your text, just check the box and select whatever color you want it to be. We'll go with something like, let's go with red and then press OK. And then you can change the opacity of whatever you want the background to be and you can increase the size of it as well. You can also round the edges too. Now, if you don't want to use a background and just want to use a drop shadow, all you have to do is check this box here, then select whatever you want your drop shadow color to be. And then you can change the opacity of whatever that color is. You can change the direction of the shadow. You can also change the distance, the size, and the softness as well. So I'll just play around with these. And really what I'm trying to do is just have it so that it makes the text pop from the background. So now you should have some good looking text in your videos. And this is best for things like titles. I wouldn't necessarily use this for creating captions, but if you wanna learn more about how to create captions in Premiere Pro, check out this video right here. And if you're looking to improve your video editing skills, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.